from the Opus Radio News Center. This is an Opus Radio News Update. Good Friday morning. I'm Al Quartermont with a look at your web news. The man accused of shooting a Grand Parish deputy at the sheriff's office in Colfax Monday is now out of the hospital and in jail. District Attorney Jay Lemoyne saying 52-year-old John Futrell of Colfax has been booked into the Grand Parish Detention Center on three counts of attempted first-degree murder, one count of aggravated kidnapping, and one count of illegal use of a weapon. Futrell had been at the Rapids Regional Hospital after being shot by deputies. His bond set at $800,000. The deputy who was shot, Barkley Roberts, at last report, still in the hospital. The suspects in the murder of an Alexandria native, Kenneth Donnelly Jr., at a house near the UL Lafayette campus last October. They have been formally charged. Waylon Guillory and Ian Trahan have been charged with second-degree murder for Donnelly's death and with attempted second-degree murder for an attack on Rufus Fells, Donnelly's roommate. Their bond has been set at $450,000 each. Lots of folks wondering what's the haze over Alexandria and Pondville yesterday. Well, not to worry, just part of the controlled burns being done by the Forest Service. The increased winds in our area carrying that smoke over the metro area. It's the big Mardi Gras weekend in Alexandria. Let's run down what's happening for you. First of all, today, the college cheerleaders and classic cars parade in downtown Alexandria at 4.30 p.m. Then at 7 over at the Riverfront Center, it's the Taste of Mardi Gras. Cost $20 in advance, $25 at the door. Tomorrow, the 15th annual Children's Parade. That starts at 1045 in downtown Alexandria. Following that, the King Cake Party at the Alexandria Zoo from 2 to 4. They'll also have pets from the Alexandria Animal Shelter available for adoption. On Sunday, the Master Event, the 18th Annual Cruise Parade, starts at 2 p.m., runs from Texas Avenue to Masonic Drive before turning on to Memorial Drive and then North Boulevard before ending at the Alexandria Mall. Police reminding parents, keep the kids behind the barriers at all times and away from those floats. Natchitoches celebrating its Mardi Gras tomorrow with day-long activities aimed at families. The Crew of Wagons Children's Parade is at 1 p.m. in the historic district on Front Street. Music provided by Natchitoches Main Street from 3 to 6. The Crew of Dionysus Mardi Gras Parade at 5.30 on South Drive in Natchitoches. Vernon Parish's Mardi Gras Parade also tomorrow, Saturday at 2 p.m. That'll be on 3rd Street in downtown Leesville. In the theaters this weekend, Bolton High School's performance of Hello, Dolly! tonight at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10. City Park Players, The Lion in Winter at 7.30 tonight and tomorrow at the Crest Theater. Also Sunday afternoon, tickets $12. If you love Opry-style music, you'll want to be at Dry Prong Junior High School Saturday for the debut of the Grant Parish Opry. Organizers planning to hold the Opry the first Saturday of every month. The mix of country and gospel music along with comedy will be family-friendly entertainment, so get out and enjoy that. Call it the best in sports entertainment tomorrow night, 7.30 at the Rapids Parish Coliseum. WWE's Road to WrestleMania Tour Raw. That'll be again at 7.30. Your chance to see John Cena, The Miz, CM Punk, and Randy Orton, among some of the other WWE stars. Transitioning now to real sports in Friday sports, the ladies top 28 of Oils moving into the Class 3A state finals following a 55-49 win over Notre Dame last night. Of Oils will play St. James tomorrow night in the championship. The LC Lady Wildcats in the Division 3 tournament play a regional game at Chapman in Orange, California tonight. Tip off 9 p.m. locally. The winner of today's game will play at 9 p.m. tomorrow night against the winner of today's matchup between 2009 national champs George Fox and Occidental. LSU's women's basketball team threw to the quarterfinals at the Southeastern Conference Tournament in Nashville. Lysandra Barrett scoring 14 points yesterday, leading the Lady Tigers to a 60-36 win over Alabama. LSU will now face second-seeded Kentucky later today. And some big signings for the Saints. Pierre Thomas agreeing to a four-year contract with the team. Kicker Garrett Hartley also gets a new five-year contract. Meanwhile, former Saint tight end Jeremy Shockey signs a one-year deal with the Carolina Panthers. We have more news on our Truth 104.3 FM Facebook page. Have a great, safe, and happy Mardi Gras weekend. I'm Al Quartermont.